In today's video, we're gonna learn how we can make our own Discord to just AI bot. I know you're lonely in your Discord server and you don't have anyone to talk with. Literally no one. Well, I introduce you the AI bot. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna give you the source code. What do you thought, huh? No, I'm not gonna give you the source code, obviously. Because today's video is, as a matter of fact, very, very simple. Using the node fetch package, we're basically done. Like, literally. Using the node fetch package, we just have to fetch a URL and maybe use an API key to not get rate limited, uh, which sucks. To be honest, you want to get banned from Discord, either your Discord bot, so I'm just saying. But don't worry, I will give you the safety precautions during today's video. And I also want to say a shout out to Monkey Develop Discord server because they're actually the one who actually basically made this API. And their website is perfect, in my opinion. They have a various different APIs you can learn from. Uh, so basically, today's video is just an example. You can do many other things using an API URL. You can make monkey pictures, literally random monkey pictures, random monkey facts, literally anything like you can find on their API list. I'll put a link regarding that in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. And that's pretty much it. Let's straight into this video. All right, so here we are in our whole Discord Digest bot code. So as you can see, I have everything ready as a matter of fact in here. And this is my message event. If you don't have a message event or anything like that, it's perfectly fine. Uh, the, the thing you guys need to make sure about is that, um, you know, basically you have a Discord bot already because this is not going to work if you don't know how to code a Discord bot in general. I mean, let's just be honest. Come on. You can't do this if you don't know the basics, right? Um, The first thing you need to do is basically go into terminal and then doing npm i node fetch. This is a package for fetching something from a URL. So after you guys done this, it's going to go ahead and install it. As you can see, it's completely installed. Now we're going to go ahead and go to your message event. In case you don't have any message events, it's perfectly fine. Because I've seen people putting their message event inside of their index.js, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but you guys need to make sure that the code that I'm going to put in today's video is going to be inside of here. So anything inside of model that exports uh, is going to be my message event. So the first thing you need to do is basically requiring the fetch. So the node fetch is going to be required and make sure you put default at the end. We're going to do fetch, require node fetch. And you need to put this as a matter of fact in uh, if you're using an index.js, yeah, you got to put it in here like the other ones. So whenever you use fetch in our code, it's going to go ahead and refer to the node fetch. Make sure you put default because of there's going to be some small errors. I, I checked over stack flow or whatever, and I had a problem, I remember, and the, this default thing helped me to solve my problem. So just you, you guys need to make sure that you guys put this in your code. So the next thing we need to do is basically specifying a channel uh, for this chatbot to work. So in my case, um, I'm going to go ahead and check my Discord server. I have a channel ID in my Discord server uh, where I want my, you know, chatbot to work. So I'm just going to go ahead and check my Discord server and copy the channel ID. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. First, I'm going to tell about if the message, the channel, that ID is equal equal to this, then stuff is going to happen. Um, well, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and cut this and paste it after after the you know the message author of bot and message of the channel type dm return because i don't want this stuff to happen except someone dms or whatever um so i'm just saying so just make sure you put this in here after you guys done this um i'm gonna go ahead and code uh i'm gonna go ahead and first fetch something so i'm gonna go ahead and do fetch and then we need to fetch a url so this is when we have to check the website on monkey div uh, or swagger UI or whatever you want to call it. We're going to go ahead and check the website now. As you can see, this is a website. Um, now we need to, as a matter of fact, we need to look for something that we want to fetch. So today's video is about, you know, AI, right? A bot where um, basically responds to you. So we're going to go to the font category. In the font category, if you click on this, it will basically show us all of the information regarding the chat. So the first thing is the, mes uh, the message you want to send to the AI and the ID of the user and the API key. This is not a specifically required API key, but if you don't want to get rate limited on Discord, you have to get an API key. You need to join to their Discord server and ask for the bot to register you in their API and you will get an API key, which I'm gonna show you guys if you all, if you want to use an API key. I'm gonna also guide you completely how you can add it into the fetch. For now, we just have to try it out. So. If you click on execute, it's not going to work because it's going to say you need to put a message. So let's say we want to ask the bot test and the ID of the person. I'm going to copy and paste my ID. 
uh, for the sake. So I'm going to go ahead and click on execute. And as you can see, the execute is going to show us, uh, you know, the response of it. The response is just a, this is just a test. So this is what we need to get from the JSON file. It's, it's just something like a respond body, a JSON file. The JSON file response is going to be the message that the bot is going to send. So if you look at the request request URL, it will show us the URL we requested. As you can see, I didn't put any API keys. Uh, this is because, um, you know, for today's video, for now, until the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to be able to add an API key. But for now, we're, going to, you know, we're not going to use an API key. We're just going to learn the basics. So in here, I have to request you. I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and fetch something. So the thing I'm going to fetch is going to be basically this. And um, there we go. So in here, as you can see, it's API monkey div.com fun chat. And then there's something called a uh, question mark MSG. This is the message that we are going to send the bot. So we want this to be, uh, you know, the message, the channel message that content, right? So we have to put this as message dot content. You guys also make sure you put this in here. It's very, very important. Um, so we're going to put message dot content. And then the message is, you know, we're going to ask the bot is going to be a message dot content and the UID of the person who actually requesting this is going to be message dot author dot ID. There we go. Simple as that. Now we need to get the response from the fetch and send it uh, as a message channel channel sent. So for doing that, we need to get a JSON first. So for doing that, we got, we got to do then a response response to json so the response is going to be in a json file and you know jc basically a json stylish thing if you do quantum.log you will understand and then after this we're going to go ahead and do then again data and then this and then this so this is the stuff that's going to happen after we created the json the response you basically respond you fetch the url we make the response in a json file and then execute it uh, with the message that channel sent so we're going to go ahead and do message the channel that send the data.response. So remember, the reason I'm doing data response is because as you can see in here, um, this is just a, this is a test, right? It's, it's just only said this is a test. So as you can see, this is an, in the JSON file, there's something called, a, you know, a you know basically an option called response. So we need to get that option a value. So we're going to do data.response. So there we go. This is the JSON file. And then in the JSON file, we look for the response. That's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and test this out. I think it's going to work. I don't, I don't think there should be a problem in this case. And um, yeah, as long as you understand anything that you just said in here, you're gonna be totally fine with any other APIs. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and test it out. So my bot is aligned here. And as you can see, I told the bot that this is gonna work on one channel, which is the channel ID. This is a channel ID. So I think if I send something here, uh, let's do test. I like test, there we go. Now let's just ask him, how are you? And I think it's gonna respond to us. I'm very well, thanks. How you doing? I'm perf. I'm doing well. There we go. Perfect as that. So you finally got yourself um, an AI bot or whatever. So the last thing we need to make sure about is an error. So let's say the bot didn't actually send us any response. Then what? Well, you can cache the error. Pretty, pretty simple. And you can just do dot cache and it's going to go ahead and cache the error and it's going to say message channel sent couldn't fetch. Um, response. Let's do that because sometimes there's some interruptions in the API or anything in general in feature. If there's something, there's some some problems other than the API itself, the bot can get a response or whatever. Um, this is gonna say that I couldn't fetch any responses, you know, because you know it's just for making sure everything is gonna work as good as possible. So this is it. This is as simple as that. So if you want any other things, as a matter of fact, let's say a monkey picture. Um, you can do the same thing as I just did in here. Let's say, uh, you know, monkey picture in here. If I just go ahead and you can try it out and execute one, it's going to go, it's going to go ahead and show me a fact about monkey, for example. So let's go ahead and, for example, do this in here. As you can see, we have API monkey diff fact monkey. That's it. You don't have to even look for method dot content in this case, because, um, there is no message, you know, it's just showing us a random fact, right? But in the response. We're going to go ahead and do data dot fact because we're trying to get the fact value. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys understand this perfectly because fetching data from an API is actually pretty, pretty cool. In my opinion, I love this. It's perfect. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys how you're able to add your own API key. So for adding your own API key, you have to join the MongoDiv Discord server. 
And in the MonkeyDev Discord server, you are be able to make yourself, you know, basically you can register yourself. As I believe so, in the, you know, what's it called, in the commands channel, you can go in and register for an API. So by just joining, to your disc joining the Discord server in the commands channel and then sending a exclamation mark register it's gonna go ahead and you know I, can, I already i already registered and it's gonna make sure that it's gonna send you a dm and um yeah also there is there there's like other people in here that can help you so you know they're gonna probably help you and can carry the ticket as well if you want to but uh yeah, that's as simple as that then you need to copy that and after you've done that, you just have to make sure that put this at the end. So as you can see, um, uh, you don't. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and after the UID. So I'm gonna. I'm um, about. I gotta do this. And so the reason I'm not using in you know, a question mark is because in the beginning you use a question mark, but for the after, on uh, options you have to use the and, uh, which is you know that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and put. Our API key so for doing that we just have to do key equals to then your API key your API key here for example you know the API key whatever you have you're gonna paste it right after the equal uh, sign and let's say um, you're trying to do, add this API key for other things in case they don't have an exclamation mark in the you know question mark in the beginning. Well, you shouldn't be using this because uh, we are trying to do the, add the first option. The first option should be starting with the question mark, not with an and. But if it's a second option or the third or the fourth, you just have to use and. So let's say I don't have any messages in here. You know, I don't I don't want to put the MSG option and the UID option, which you have to put this in this case for this chat thingy to work. So I'm not going to use, uh, you know, basically the and I'm just going to use this because this is my first option I'm going to put. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Share it with your friends. If I think they're going to like it too because, you know, who doesn't like to do fun stuff on Discord? And uh, join to our Discord server if you have any problems or questions. Comment down below as well. I can help you over there too. And this is Ashcraft. I'm out. Peace out, guys. Have a nice day. Hello, it's just me, Steve Jobs, here to announce to you, mother Baba Boo. You still on the iPhone 6? Baba Boo. Still on the iPhone 6? Baba Boo. Get the 2 to 13, bruh. Man, get the AirPods.